Hello again everyone, as always thank you very much for clicking on one of my videos. Just a quick intro about what's happening here and uh, a quick look at the uh, equipment that I use as always. So it's the usual FX Impact M3 in 0.25 with the Wolf 4K electronic day night scope and the Bog Death Grip carbon fibre tripod which all together makes for a great shooting um, bit of kit there. Now something a little bit different today, normally when I'm out in the woods I have my hide with me and obviously you sit in the hide and it camouflages you really well um, but it also, how can I put it, it also disengages you from the environment if you like uh, is the best way I can think of saying that because you're sat in the hide and all you can see is through the little, um, the little windows that you've got and you don't feel the sort of wind and everything and you don't hear the sounds quite so much etc so uh, I bought myself this little seat and it's a really comfy little seat it's actually a fishing seat a carp fishing seat but the best thing about it not only is it um, really comfortable it's also uh, folds up it's really lightweight folds up quite flat and um, it's also very low to the ground so it doesn't uh, make me too obvious uh, if you like when I'm I'm sort of sat in it but the whole point um, today is it was such a nice day um, quite cold but really lovely sunny day and I just wanted to get out and sit in the woods and enjoy the environment it wasn't even really about vermin control today it was more about just getting out uh, enjoying the uh, the lovely weather and um, just sitting there and listening to the, the sights and sounds of the woods etc and uh, when you sit like this right in the open it's so much more sort of enjoyable than when you're sort of in the in the hide and you're quite hidden away from all those sort of experiences so this is good old me now uh, I've been and bought myself a couple of action cameras second hand very cheap easy to use etc nothing um, special at all no 4k anything like that but really just trying to get some different perspectives on, on what I'm doing and, and how I'm sort of shooting etc so you, you get some different views and so on of me now this um this little action camera is all quite cheap but uh, looking at the footage it, it seems quite quite good quite usable and I've literally just got it wedged in the branches of the tree that's to the left of me and it's um, just recording this and it comes with a little clicker remote control as well so I haven't got to get up and disturb things to uh, turn it on and off so um, it might work out quite well we'll see um, in up and coming videos how I maybe get to use it and so on but this is me just filling up the magazine I'm going to put it in the impact and um, take a few uh, zero in shots just checking it out and like I say I'm really there just enjoying the day and I'm just gonna wait and see if anything turns up then it's a bonus we do get a shot uh, a little bit later so keep watching but uh, this video is more about the sort of um, looking at the equipment I think today that I'm using and so on but certainly I I like to see the equipment on the, all the people's sort of videos that I watch and how they're sort of using it and so on and I hope you sort of enjoy taking a look at my sort of kit and how I'm using it and you can see as I'm sat outside today I've got me sort of more camo gear on and this sort of um, merges in with the more brown surroundings that we've got at the moment with all the, the leaves on the floor etc and in fact the trousers I'm wearing they're lovely warm trousers really good camouflage and I forgot to bring the jacket the matching jacket for that so I'm just wearing my deer hunter uh, fleece which again is, is a lovely bit of a uh, bit of kit it keeps me really warm blends in really well but as you can see that seat it just worked really well just to be sat out in the open taking a few zero shots so literally just got to sit up take some shots sit back down so uh, just going to take a few zero in shots sit down have a coffee and just enjoy the day and enjoy the surroundings So, 
time to sit back, have a coffee, enjoy the uh, the countryside in the outdoors, and just relax from life for once for uh, for a few hours. What more can you uh, want on a lovely winter afternoon? Okay, so as you'll see, this little squirrel suddenly pops up out of nowhere. And I think he grabs a few nuts and then he runs off to bury them over there to the right hand side. And uh, I lose him out of view for a few minutes, but uh, he comes back into view in just a moment. So it looks like he's down, and uh, I have a sweep around and a quick check of the area as I normally do. Nothing about. Go back to uh, the squirrel, and oh, he's moving. And I don't like the way he's sort of moved there. It's not the usual uncontrolled flipping that they often do. So I zoom in and have a much closer look at him. Now he's definitely going to expire there, I think but we don't want anything to suffer at all so I'm just taking a close look to see if there's any more movement and in a minute I think you maybe see a flick of the tail there I think did I see something and then again I see a maybe another flick so I recock the rifle and give him a double tap there you go and he's definitely down and later on in the day I obviously will go and recover it from uh, just behind those sort of logs there. So I zoom in at this point and have a real close look just to make sure there's no more movement. But he's absolutely down now. All finished with. So uh, I can sit back and uh, relax and enjoy the surroundings again. So I'll show you just the scope cam footage of those couple of shots now. Now I think this screw was about 40 yards away um, from where I caught up with him at this point here. Now I've retuned the Impact M3 today to shoot slugs. I'm trying to get some slugs to work out of it and this is H&N 30 grain slugs and I'm shooting them at around 960-980 feet per, se per second 
which gives about 60 foot-pounds of energy. So the second shot, or double tap as I like to call them, just coming up. So here I am again. Now I get lots of comments about uh, how I'm holding the FX impact in the tripod and lots of comments about the FX impact and how it's used with the tripod and so on so I just do a little video here of me sort of uh, operating the tripod it's uh, obviously the bog death grip it's a carbon fiber model it's a really really good bit of kit it's not super expensive in fact I think for value for money it's it's really good and um, it's just so usable um, so I'm just uh, showing you the the ease and the usability of it if you know what I mean just sort of here and just sort of um, messing around with different points and swinging it around so you can have a have a good look at it Now one of the most common questions I get asked about this setup is how I'm actually holding the FX impact in the grip of the uh, the bog tripod. So uh, I'll try and show you here and it's such a simple bit of kit that I made up and it just drops in there, takes no effort to hold it in and it's really secure and it just works really really well and all it is is a small block of wood screwed to a rifle sling picatinny mount that I've had to cut down slightly to get it in that recess but even that block of wood works really well offhand like that and I'll show you it here it's a really cheap Chinese picatinny mount just screwed with two screws into the block of wood but it works so effectively it's such a cheap bit of a modification that works so effectively as you can see it's perfectly secure there's a tiny bit of movement in the Picatinny clamp because it's a cheap Chinese sort of thing but um, it's not going to go anywhere it's perfectly solid and it just drops into that mount so well and just a quick wind on and it's perfect it just works absolutely so well it's unbelievable how cheap it was and how well it works and I leave it on there all the time basically because even off hand shooting it acts as like a, a hamster I think they called it but you do have to do the clamp up on the tripod otherwise that happens but it takes no effort at all, it's just a little squeeze and it stays there as you can see I'll give it a bit of a, a bang and a tap, it's not going to go anywhere but it offers such a really nice secure and usable shooting position as you can see So that's it for this video, sorry there wasn't much action in the shooting department but it was more about me getting outside and just enjoying the surroundings and the environment but I hoped you liked the uh, the bit of action camera 
footage of the equipment and so on and uh, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll catch up with you all soon hopefully.